Hello and good morning and welcome to another uh, Old Nubian philology video. Um, we're going to continue work today with an inscription from Sonquitino, uh, which I haven't looked at yet. But before we do that, I actually want to return briefly to an inscription we had uh, the other time, uh, Sonquitino 8W4. Um, because after I posted the video, um, I put on Twitter some questions about uh, some of the words in there that I thought were loan words and, you know, maybe somebody had an idea uh, where they were from. And it turns out they're Arabic. And so that's kind of exciting. And that, you know, has improved our reading of the text. And, uh, and after um, going through the text with the with the rest of the group, we actually really improved uh, the reading I provided in the video. So once the publication is out, you can compare it with how far I got in the video and see that, you know, when it comes to interpunction and all kinds of other details, um, quite some progress was still made after I was done with it. And this again goes to show that when I'm done with, or when I think that I am done with a pass of a text, that doesn't mean it's finished. It, you know, there is there's this whole process where you reflect on how you treated the text, you go through it again. And then if there are other people that you're working with, which is something that I really enjoy because you know you have some extra eyes, you have some extra brains, um, you can still really improve upon a text. You know, it's in the details, but still it allows you to really um, um, hopefully get as close as possible to a reconstruction or at least a reading that, that reflects how the text was originally on the wall. So let's, let's go to this text uh, first, 8W4, and then we continue with our text for today, which is, I think, a similar inscription, um, or at least it starts in a similar way, I think, from first impression. Um, so let's see about that. Um, all right. So let's uh, move this out of the way. Okay, so um, the words, in, let me just zoom this in a little bit. The words in question were this in line five, this uh, Tishwashia and Tishwatana. Now these words sound related. Um, Tishwash and Tishwat um, sound as if we're dealing here with some form of maybe reduplication, or like is this like a triconsonantal root like in Arabic? Um, we have a, a type of T suffix here. Is this an Old Nubian uh, T suffix or is this like uh, Arabic feminine suffix? So um, on Twitter, um, several people commented on like what these words could be. And um, we got here a very nice close parallel, the Arabic uh, Tishawash to make confused and uh, chaotic. And also Tishwatan, which means distortion, dis disformity. And apparently in, in Sudanese Arabic, you still have the, 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 the verb tishwatana, but which means to act crazy and possessed by a demon. So um, a clear in Arabic, these words are clearly related from the same root. Uh, and moreover, they really fit into the semantic field of this text, namely like I didn't do X and X is a negative thing. Wounding, striking, uh, being confused in glory, going crazy, denying uh, a church, and so on. Um, so here you can see uh, really how wonderful also like social media can help uh, um, with with uh, scholarly research. And so um, thank you to those who responded. And um, well, actually, I probably put the acknowledgments here somewhere. Who? Um, Right, Joel Mitchell. Oh yes, Joel, of course, Joel from Taros Press. And Abdullah Mohammed, um, thank you very much for um, for this. And obviously, like, when people give us these wonderful clues, they should be acknowledged um, in the um, in the publication itself. This is, uh, this is regular practice. So now let's go to our text of today, which I haven't really looked at yet. It's eight and eight. It's also one of the last texts we're working on, so... Um, 
it's really kind of um, kind of exciting to finally be done with this. And it's um, it's this text here in the corner. As you can see, it is not in the best state. Um, Fortunately, we have a bunch of, so like this is the, 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 the state of the text as it currently is in the Sudan National Museum. Um, so it's been taken off the wall. Um, and these were all holes or damages and so on in the original text and they've been filled up. But fortunately, the filling up is always more than the original. So uh, we don't have any photos of the thing in situ. So like we really have to, um, yeah, deal with... Um, We have to deal with the way that this, um, um, yeah, this text is currently with us. I'm sorry, I'm immediately like drawn to like certain details. So um, let's uh, start with the beginning. Let's see what is the best photo of the beginning. This is the beginning. This is the whole thing. This is the beginning. Let's do, let's do this one. Let's make this a bit smaller. And so you can see um, three of my colleagues already worked on the text. So we have a transcription by um, Adam and Grzegorz, uh, Adam Weiter and Grzegorz Ochawa. Um, Alexander Stakos has looked at this text, made a second transcription. And um, I am going to make a third and I am lazy. So I copied Alexandros's because it's the most extensive. Um, and then see um, what we can um, what we can do. So let's make this a little bit larger. All right. Um, by the way, this part is a different inscription. Uh, here, it's the one above it, uh, which ends in Adelphoi. It's a, it seems to be a partially a Greek inscription, right? So you see here the phi of phoi and then lambda epsilon delta here and alpha or del phoi, so brothers. Um, and so our starts here with this cross. So this is the first line. Um, now. Let's see. Cross two letters, kappa, rho, omicron. Um, das. going to be a little bit conservative to start with. So this kappa is fine, rho, omicron, this can be a nu or an epsilon. Und dann question is like what even how would you start this thing how do we start this what is so I don't even know which language this is. Maybe this is Greek. Because here we see I know Ina. Um, and uh, what is missing here is a, a superlinear stroke. 
which uh, you may remember actually also starts uh, um, a w4 yeah a now and this seems to be some type of standard formula um, something also. Oh, I know. Um, so then obviously what comes after this is I. I. So. That's a very short name. Wait. Oh, we started working in the wrong text. Oh, okay. Um, I saw. Yeah, this, this must be the edge. This is a very short name. I saw. Okay. Um, I hate, I hate all of this. Okay. Um, okay, let's... Um, then, second line, so much... Uh, this is clearly an angle. So Moji Martos this, is, this should be an alpha Martos Martos could Martyrs could Asta Asta, and this must be an epsilon Asta the new oh. Okay, but then where is Watching Martel Skuda. They read Sogoji Mar, which is this weird, weirdest title. Let me just get the. Uh, Brown Dictionary. Songoj, Songoj, Maria, Vice, Songoj. Yeah. 
is it Songochi Mar or is it something like Mar Toskuda? Toskuda? Marta Martiroforo. I don't know about this Toskuda. Toscan. Tusconcuda, of course. Um, so goji. Hmm. Don't know. I'll start the new. Okay, which means that okay, here we have another the new. Tot, uh, you can see also here actually the spacing of this guy is not particularly good, right? So tot, uh, the well obviously this is the stroke of the epsilon here, so mm -hmm. There may actually be maybe one to two letters here. Then next line, ta, asta, um, this could be very well another delta Asta the nu. So maybe two to three letters still here. So maybe he's the Asta of Songoj Martoskuda. He is the Asta of. This name, Guresen. Guresi is a attested name. Tota de nu, so it's the toad of Guresi. And then, okay, well, then this should be Coscott. Scott. Us. Okay, but this is again the same thing. Us. Uh, the and there must be an O here. Thou ast, yeah, okay. So, what is this course cut? Coscott means evil, but it, I don't think um, we are dealing here with the word for evil. Where is this? Um, oh wait. Um, we need 
the retro. Uh, there we go. Got Hmm. I see we have cost cuts info, but that doesn't seem to the Asta of the Great Evil that doesn't seem to be. That cannot be the intended meaning, I hope. What is this? Sigma. Epsilon Kappa. No, this is a superlinear stroke below. So what is this? Kekos. Decos. Okay, don't know. But we're not done yet because it's DAO, so Delta, Alpha, Epsilon, Omicron, Alpha. Then we have again Asta, Asta, the Nu. We have here I know, but there's a super linear stroke here. I know. And then we have again Tota. The new. Now this goes on and on this list, the son of this. With in unreadable letters, but what is this stroke here? Okay. Yeah, at uh, this may be an omega or something. Okay. No, I know. Then we have Uru, King, Zeta. Is this a Zeta? Yeah, this is a Zeta. It's another wow. I think, yeah, no, it. So, let's see. Yeah, it's a Zeta because a wow would be always have this type of curve don't see a curve um how does this line start clearly seen alpha here don't see there's a letter there's an alpha there's another letter two three Oh, sorry. Ugh. Wrong line. Uh, there is a letter. Actually, there is a part of the letter is visible here. So it's a dot, a letter, an alpha, another letter, gap of two, 
Oh, this is not a new command. This looks like also an alpha or something. Yeah, I mean. Or ah, he sees it like this. Oh, the handwriting is also not amazing. Uh, maybe. Okay, if this is an N. Maybe it's something like ni la. I mean, it's all pretty shitty. Ni la. P, okay, fine. Uh, this looks like to me a uh, sigma. Only one letter. We have P. And we have Sen. The order of what? So if this is a genitive ending. Is this a line? This is a line. So there's a letter here. There's a letter here. nothing here What? There are not that many. The only thing that's, I mean, the king of Faras, Parasen, we have an attestation of Para, Parasi, no, we don't have. Intriguing, Uru, Zeta. Then what is this? What are our proper names with Zeta? Zacharias, but that's not it here. Zosima. Zacharias is the only one that we have with the Z. Okay, we don't know.
the next line at least. Um, we have a Yota here, so which is nice because this is then the beginning of a sentence. I Sayo. Now, don't we have this? And there is an, you see, there's this dot clearly here. Don't we by any chance have the same name here? I, yes, of course, we have the same name here. I mean, this. I'm gonna just reconstruct this. Is it must be the same person? I sayo. I sayo. Urul. Something ending in an omega. There's a letter before that. Okay. Uh, there is actually a lot of stuff going on here. Nah. Foof, 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 foof. Unreadable. But the name Ural, the king. Okay. Then clear break. I Sayo. And some letters and a kappa. Okay, I'll take that. Next line. Oh, that's a lot of T's. It. That makes no sense. This must be the ending of the word. Tit to. And that's the word gift. And then indeed, song or job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe this is, I would say there is actually one to two here. Did two. No. Yeah. And then one, two, three. Okay. So much. Yeah. Good. In Who knows what? How, how many letters are here? One, two, three, four, five. Do they have here something else? Joa. Oh. So, yeah, this is not bad actually. Yeah, but like what, you know? Uh, it's definitely not Enna. Letter, 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 like one, two, three, who knows how much is missed, you know, this, like what is going on here, who knows. Then it gets worse. Uh -huh. Oh Lord, what is this? Is this like? We don't know here, but I mean, come on, at least we know that there's a super linear stroke and this thing here. A new, okay, and then APA, also fine, but let's put a stroke here and there's a thingy. And we have nice APA. 
what is Apamenos, something like this. Name of a church, maybe. Ah, and here we have again a Joa. Okay. Um, so this must be Na Jun. Uh, through. Now we see. Let's also mark this. This is the new. This dot Ju. We see clearly. This and then June. Um, pom 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 pom. Fucking yeah, who knows? Who knows? I mean, is this a kappa? Uh, but, but this, this is a new okay fine maybe and then there's this thing here um okay now it gets worse i think um let's see i need the next part do i have a better shot maybe this um So we did line nine, which is here. And now we're doing this line. Three to four. I mean, actually the first letter here is visible, yeah. So two to three. Um, a letter, maybe an alpha or something. Da -da 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 nothing, 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 nothing. Yeah, maybe APA. <laughs> this is suddenly very small. I don't, I don't see this off at all. Um, pop, pop, pop. So there would be an off in the lacuna here. A letter that I don't see. Here is a letter. Oh wait, oh my God. I'm again in the wrong line. Ugh. Um, so what did Alex do here? Yada da 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 this is indeed a long I see a P, so. Ah, but it could also be gamma yota, like this, maybe. Yeah, or maybe it's a tau. That would be a big tau, though. Okay, fine, just letters. And then again, unreadable shit. Who? Um, line 11. Traces, traces, some traces here, traces here, and then he reads Sha. Yeah, so a shy alpha, then. Yeah, possibly. Um, then I would read an Omicron here, and then I would also read an Epsilon here. Maybe then no, yeah, no, unclear. If it's again a listing, then now we have law. No, no, don't know. 
Okay. Line 12. Um, I think now we have to go to one of these pictures. Yeah. Where's my line here? Chardonnay. Okay. Then we have Itra here, quite clear. Yeah, maybe they all find a dot. Alpha letter, some stuff. Itra, okay. Tita, also clear. Letter before here. I would probably split this up. Then again, okay, maybe a delta, yeah, possibly. Pfft. Weird. Again, eat, double kappa, alpha here, n, okay, then a bunch of nothingness. Copper there. Oh my god. I mean, what is this even? What, what is this letter? Some type of Gmail. Looks like the Coptic letter, like this. Um, it is just an epsilon. I wouldn't know. This doesn't look like a Oricon to me. Yada yada yada. What does he read here? Copper of. Uh, where is this copper? I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see. I don't see. I would just say tr maybe an S. Uh, yeah, this. I don't know. Sigma. Mm. I would say just one, two, three, four, five, six letters. I really cannot. Two, three, four, five, six. And then we have one or two here, and then this at uh, yeah. Then this a much smaller script. I yeah, Suda. Oops, yeah, what is this letter? Okay, I thought oh, we have what is this? Unclear and beautiful epsilon. Some letters, read on here. Yeah. Who knows what it says? Then by by Silo. Okay, I wrote done. All right. Hmm. That's all very unclear. Unclear and unhelpful and unsatisfying. The only thing that 
structurally is interesting about it is this listing of astadanu, astadanu, totadanu, astadanu, totadanu. Then we seem to be have references to a king, but which king would this be? And king of what? Where? Oh. And then again, this guy through this, through that a gift. Maybe the gift of the painting. Maybe this is a donation. Maybe this is the donation inscription. Look here what they did also like. This fucking paint from the from the outside dripping in, covering part of the inscription. Ugh. All right, unsatisfying, but um, this is how it goes sometimes. You just have to do the work, and then the end result is something that still doesn't make all too much sense. But we have a beginning and we have an end. Actually, we don't even know how. What is this beginning? does this beginning even mean? And in which language is it? Kru. Kru. If this is Krum. Krum un. Yeah, they have the new and Alex has the epsilon, <laughs> of course. So the question is, does this continue? I don't think it continues. I mean, is there what is is there something here? So the hand is just not so beautiful. I mean, I think something goes down here. I would be tempted to say that there should be a new here. Okay, but then on. Tas. Tas is nothing. Um tas, um tas, um tas. Say. I don't think there's anything here, by the way. I mean, this is a huge vacuum. Untos, if it's Greek, what would this mean? All right, that's it for today. Oh, I don't think we can say much more about this. We'll see when we discuss it on Tuesday. Cool. All right, unsatisfying, cannot do anything about it. Um, I was hoping to pull out a little bit more from this, but it didn't work. 
So we're also nearly done with the song continuum transcription. So like the last part is like a lot of little inscriptions, like small fragments. So who knows, maybe something fun will come out of that. Um, well, thanks again for tuning in to see me struggle with something that is mostly unreadable. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Ciao.